We'll go right to questions. Coach, um, defense was playing really well early on, then you get the penalty on Micah and he gets ejected. I'm not saying it's all that, but it seemed like kind of momentum shift and kind of a little bit deflated on that side of the ball and guys kind of let some things happen that you normally didn't let happen after after he got ejected. Yeah, yeah it, was, uh, it was massive, without question. Changed everything. I guess talking about Michael, he has three picks. He also has a couple touchdown passes. I think also some drops. I mean, is it yeah. is it one where you maybe look at him and ask for better decision making, making, but also maybe his receivers and ask for a little more help for him at times? Oh, I agree. I thought several drops out there by some of our key guys that we're counting on. Uh, it's a collective group. It's the offensive line. It's it's everybody, and it's better decision making by him. You got to protect the football. You know, to me, these are, you know against a good team like this, and they're a good football team, you can't make those kind of mistakes. You can't turn the ball over. You can't be in the red zone, tight red zone, three times and get no points. You know, so that's, to me, that's, that was the game right there. Three trips in there, no points. Time that decision early to, on fourth down to go for it um, didn't, didn't work, but it was just, was it just a matter of just trying to be aggressive well, as you yeah, can be absolutely. early? To me, I had to have the, coming into this game, the kind of offense that they have, you don't beat them kicking field goals. It's fourth and one. We muffed the snap. And, and then everything just kind of, you know, so there's another ball security issue to me. We didn't handle the snap, and then we just didn't get it. So we should have should have converted. I'd do that 10 times out of 10. So you got to score touchdowns, and we did not. So um, this one's on us. Yes. Coach, with Penix's struggles, how are you going to evaluate the quarterback position this week, and is a change, you know, something that's on the table? Oh, I'm going to look at everything in terms of just, you know, you evaluate your team. Everybody gets evaluated. You want to evaluate the offensive line, defensive line, safeties, corners, linebackers, quarterbacks, running backs, uh, every position. You know, you got to perform and you got to make good decisions at that spot. And, you know, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I'm never going to act like that nobody, nobody's job is 100% safe. I don't care what position you play on this team. You better perform and you better play to a high level to do the things that we know we got to do to win football games. So uh, we've, uh, um, you see what we can do when we're all locked in and playing to the standard that we have here and how good we can be. So, and when you don't, then you also see that result. But uh, yes, well, everybody's being evaluated. Uh, Coach, on the fumble on the goal line uh, late in the fourth quarter, you had Tim Baldwin in the game. Was Stephen Carr available, or were you just going with? Uh, yeah, we were. You know, I thought all three guys were run hard. You know, and, and uh, Davion had a great run. You know, we got several guys that can run the football, and Steve, Steve, uh, um, Steve was a little bit dinged up, and so we just kind of, you know, we're just going with the other guys. I thought I thought Tim was running really hard. And uh, um, just he's got to protect the football. I mean, that's, that's rule number one for running backs is you've got to protect the football. No fumbles uh, are allowed um, in, in that room. And so it's got to, they got to execute, you know. So, but uh, we're just trying to rotate guys. And I thought he was running the ball really hard at that, at that time. Tom, you guys came into the season with a lot of high expectations. You're now one and two at this point. How do you kind of maybe hold guys together, you know, through this, you know, maybe? Early season. Yeah, stretch. it's a little adversity, you know, and you know, just like I shared with our guys in the, in, the, in the locker room a few minutes ago. I mean, it's, you got to look yourself in the mirror, and you got to look yourself in the eye, and you got to stand up, and you got to take responsibility. And and I got to own the one and two start. I'm the head football coach of this football team, and uh, it's not where any of us wanted it to be or expected us to be at this point. But I said, as I said to them, here we are. What are you going to do? How are you going to respond? And uh, we got a lot of good players in that room, a lot of kids in there that have given a whole lot to this program that I have a tremendous amount of love and respect for. And we're going to keep fighting together. We're going to lock arms. We're going to find a way to just keep getting better every time we take the field. Whoa. To go back to Micah, not to stick on the call itself, but, I mean, how much does that change, just the dynamic of your defense when you lose a guy of that caliber? Yeah, you know, I mean, he's he's really special. Um, I don't know if they even had um, – have they gotten the first down yet? I don't know. I mean, we were dominating them at that point, dominating them. Could have had one first down after that point, almost at the end of the half. You know, so uh, he's our leader. Uh, he's a huge part of our pressures. He's a huge part of everything we do. Makes a ton of tackles. He's a great football player. When you lose your captain and, and, and that kind of thing, that's tough. And it, it definitely, other guys got to step up, though. And that, that to me, is how you're going to respond when something like that happens. You know, hey, sometimes life's not fair. Sometimes things happen that they're completely unfair, and what are you going to do? How are you going to respond? You know, and uh, life can be that way as well. So, uh, great teaching moment for our team. We got to respond better. Tom, what, what did, oh, I'm sorry. What, what did you think of the call? Well, I haven't, you know, what I saw, you know, I was, I was asking, Who's it on? Where'd it come from? I had no clue. And I, and I was very, very, you know, frustrated by the information I was getting. I couldn't see anything on the video, so I'll go back and watch it, and uh, we'll handle it appropriately. But it's about accountability and everything in this life, and that, to me, there's no difference. So I want accountability for that, just because I also want to know 
But uh, at the same time, you know, I haven't really had a chance to really, really see every angle of it, uh, just what they show back on the screen there. So I, I didn't even know. I didn't, it wasn't called on the field. You know, I was just trying to figure out who, what, where, when, how. Yeah, so interesting. On a, on a, on a, um, uh, uh, Ryder Anderson came off, went into the locker room, came back. Is what was going on with him? Where is he at? Is he just he was uh, playing through cramping, something? and we got him some IV. So that was you know, a kid played his absolute tail off. Love that kid, man. He gave us everything, like a lot of guys did. DJ Matthews stepping up, getting better every time he takes the field. You know, so he's a special player. So a lot of guys. Cam Jones played his heart out. A lot of guys played hard. I thought, you know, Weston played hard. And a lot of guys. So it's just, uh, you know. We got a special group of guys, so I believe in them. Mm -hmm. Tom, if you could just speak to the atmosphere today. I mean, we yeah. it's not something we see very awesome. often. You know, matter of fact, uh, one of our players reminded me, he said, Coach, yeah, a few years ago, you had to go out and, and uh, try and give away tickets in the students, you know, center, and, and not even everybody at that point wanted to take them, which is true. And uh, it's uh, changed a lot. So I want to thank our fans. I appreciate them. And uh, just uh, it's awesome. Appreciate the support. And uh, they can see how hard this team's going to play. And uh, we just got to get better. But uh, thank you to the fans. Our student section was awesome again. Great atmosphere. So uh, just trying to change the culture of Indiana football and also the expectations, you know, when you come and play in this stadium. Appreciate you guys. Have an awesome day. Elio.